a small group of lawmakers are scheduled to meet with President Trump today. This move is the latest in congressional efforts to make any possible progress on gun control legislation. Democratic Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty of Connecticut will be in that meeting. She is also a member of the Problem Solvers Caucus. Congresswoman, this issue is so important to you. You know what the people of Newtown have gone through. So I want to get your first reaction to the stance that Dick Sporting Goods has taken because they're making a move that will directly impact their bottom line. Absolutely, and I'm really proud of them, and I think it's an important acknowledgement of the power of these students. You know, young people stopped the Vietnam War. When I was in college, young people changed the U.S. policy towards South Africa, and I really believe that these students can be a voice for change in the halls of Congress and all across this country. We should note that while it could affect their bottom line, they won't be selling assault-style rifles. Dick's stock is already up a bit this morning. They're possibly making a brand move, a cultural move, because they've got these teenagers, millennials, who are making lifelong brand affiliations, and they made a decision that these things matter. You're going to be meeting with President Trump today. What do you hope to hear from him realistically? You know what we've heard so far. Well, I hope to hear consistency, and I hope to hear leadership. Well, you're not going to get consistency because he well, hasn't been consistent thus far. I know, far. But, but we need that, and he needs to lead in, lean in and be a leader, and press the Republican leadership. Because let's be very clear, what has been deadlocked in Congress is the Republican leadership has refused to call up common sense legislation background checks or anything else. So we have an opportunity here now with the leadership of these students and a president who is finely attuned to media attention. He understands that these kids have the attention of the American people. And face it, gun owners are parents too. And it's pretty hard to look your teenager in the eye and say you're unwilling to do anything to help them. And I hope the president's thinking about that and steps in to do, to challenge and do the tough stuff. It would be extraordinary. There's a lot of bills floating around, though, and it's somewhat confusing. Do you think there's one clear bill that people could get together on and get behind? Because there's a lot out there. There are a lot, but I'll tell you the top two that I think would very much appeal to the president are common sense and could make a meaningful difference right away. One is background checks on every single gun sale. Closing that gun show loophole, every single gun that's sold has to go through a background check. You've got a ton of bipartisan support on that. It would pass. It would pass the House if called up today if they hadn't canceled votes because I think they're afraid of these kids. The other one actually has to do with these extreme risk orders, what the president's referred to as the red flags. The ERO. Let's be clear. Exactly. GVROs, the gun violence restraining orders. That would give law enforcement the authority, the power to take guns away from people like the shooter in Florida. In Florida, they had no authority to do that. It would also help save the lives of our veterans. You know, there are 20 veterans who commit suicide a day, most of them with their service weapons. A lot of time, family members and friends are aware that this veteran is at risk. In most states, they don't have any authority. There's nobody they can go to who can do anything about this. So that's why I'm championing that bill as well. Like the shooter in Sandy Hook, we're in a situation where people saw something, they said something, and uh, they didn't have the law on their side to do anything. That's All right, exactly well, I right. hope you have a productive meeting with the president today. I hope so, too. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.